Tell me a little bit about Cloud Riders. What's it about? Right, well, Cloud Riders is set in Tornado Alley and it centres around a family of storm chasers. And the uh, Dom, who's the main, main character, his dad flew into his twister a year ago and, so, and died. Really tragic. But something really strange has happened ever since. All the twisters have stopped dead in a huge drought. These massive dust storms have raged across the US until one year later. To the day, another twist to his, but this time, out of it flies an airship. Dot, dot, dot. What was it that got you interested in science or science fiction, uh, but science in particular, because that's what you like to, to put in your work, isn't it? Absolutely, there's a, there's a, a lot of quantum physics um, and all that, that sort of thing as well. But going right back, a very early influence has actually been a small child just looking at the stars. And then, of course, I was growing up in the 60s, and the big event was the first man on the moon. And that was an incredibly powerful event as a child to witness. And I think it was really that which sort of ignited that passion about science. But are you a scientist? No, I'm just really passionate about it. <laughs> and curious, a curious person who likes to go and find out about these, these weird discoveries that quantum physics keep throwing up about our world. And, uh, and it's a, a rich talent. Uh, subject to tap for, uh, for the book. So you mix the science, do you, with, with a story, with what sounds like an adventure story? Absolutely, yes. Um, without any sort of plot spoilers, it, there's something much bigger, obviously, than just a twister, because if an airship finds out of it, you know something quite strange is going on. Did you always know you wanted to write stories? You obviously knew you were interested in science, yes. but, but you knew you wanted to do stories as well. Yeah. That, again, was a very early influence. I was really discovering, I, I remember a teacher actually introducing me to Lord of the Rings, a very sort of tenure age of about 11. And suddenly, to be sort of, sort of immersed in this incredible, uh, rich, imaginative world, is wonderful for a child. And of course, you read something like that, it's only a matter of months before I was working on my first book, of course. But then there was rather a gap. There? there was rather a gap. And you, you know the way the light twists and turns. And somehow or other, I ended up working in computer games for over 20 years, and which is a fantastic industry to work in. But writing, when it's part of who you are, it never leaves you. It's like that little whisper in the back of your head, and it, it keeps nagging with you. Until about seven years ago, I had the opportunity to leave the studio I had found and actually to pursue rising full time. And it was definitely, without doubt, the best decision of my life. Do you think it's important for writers to have gained some life experience in completely different areas before they sit down to write that, that get that story out of themselves? I think if you're writing about people, about real characters who've really lived and got a rich life experience, I think it's useful to have that to draw upon because you would have, you've seen the film, you've worn the t-shirt, and it's it's helpful. I think it's not impossible to write, you know, from a, you know, a younger age. But I think it's easier in some respects because you've got very life experience to draw upon. Not that I have any experience of writing the twisters, but um, you know, certainly for the the characters of Canada, this is a very strong character-based story, as well as a, a high action uh, story. Um, it's about really the journey that the characters take on. And I think that maybe it's maybe some of my own experiences in my own life. Nick, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Right, it's been a pleasure.